Nigerians are, of course, advocating for the division or suppression of Nigeria because of the hunger. Hunger is fighting too hard. Like uh, we saw in the Facebook, we are the Northern youth. We are burning the Nigerian flag, very lamenting that we have never seen such mishap. Not unfortunate, of course, experience where even it is very difficult for us to feel what kind of problem, what kind of calamity has befallen us. Northern Nigerians youth burning the national flag of Nigeria, saying, "May never God allow this country to continue." Um, my brother, my host, I thank you for giving me the opportunity this morning. May God bless you in Jesus' name. And bless every all of our fans. Bless my fellow viewers. Bless Nigeria. Not that you are burning the flag of Nigeria. Thank God. It's not that you are burning it. Nobody embarrass them. Nobody you arrest them. Had they been in the south or here? Mostly. South, south, southeast. Huh? Biafra land. You will see armored car, ferret car, fighter, bomber, jet out, killing people that they burn Nigerian flag. But now, not that you are burning it, they have right to burn Nigerian flag. Kudos to them. Kudos to them. Now, not that you are crying now. There's no hunger. There's hunger in Nigeria. No thing. Yes, I agree with them. Really, really. Let us say the truth. There's hunger in Nigeria. People that uh, 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 take dogs as pets, or people that take animal as pets in Nigeria, very soon they'll be killing them and be eating. Because there's no food. Really, there's no food in Nigeria. But is it now that not I use their life, there's no food in Nigeria? In the time of Buhari, are we not crying? In the time of Buhari, if they have food surplus, what can they have born Niger flag that time? I think in Jonathan time they say, ah, Nyamri no good. Jonathan is a Nyamri, Omri but no good. Push him out. His government is so corrupt. His government is so decent. Well, in Jonathan regime, we buy a bag of flour, 60 kilograms, 8,000 naira. We buy fuel. 87 Nara a liter. We bought for that time. Our economy balance, the, one of the best economy look in the world. Then Africa. one of the best economy in the world. And the best economy in Africa. The best economy in Africa. All of them shout both the north and the west until they remove Jonathan. Bori take over. From 2015, Bori take over. How market Nigerians? Se Baba, Se Buhari, Emiloko, how market? Now that they are calling for the dissolution of the Nigeria as the only alternative. Now, eh, 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 eh. It's too early for them to call. Now they are calling the dissolution. Last time they called for uh, uh, a protest. Um, I think Asia Yusuf or so. When Essas were protesting in the south, do any not, both they are Christian, both they are Muslim, indigenous and non indigenous Both the flan indigenous and non flan indigenous Do any of them protest? In the United States of the North, do they protest? Because their, power was, their brother was in the North, was in the power. Brother was in the power. Now, we know why they're carrying now. Because this government is not giving them palliative secretly. During the time of Buhari, they have so many palliatives. They are taking. It's been shifted to the north. Shifted to the north. Even in the time of uh, COVID-19, they call it palliative. The woman that they call her, they say that it's a uh, humanitarian affair and the miliki, said it openly, that they are giving not the palliative because not are poor. No, don't have anything. Now, they are not getting that uh, benefit from government again or that relief from government again. They come out and start crying. Had they been there's anything to substance them, they could not have they could not have talked, they could not have shout. Because they see that this new government it looks like it doesn't fail for them. That's why they come out and start shouting, start crying. Eh? Why can't they cry all this in, in the time of their brother in power? In the time of worry, is it good for us? In the time of worry, from eight hundred naira or eight hundred and fifty, 
per, uh, for one bag of rice, we jump to 30, 30 something. Now it's around the 70 or 60. 70 something, 70 something now. Which means, you know, a buhari double you own by three. During the time of from, from 8,000 8, to 36,000 is times three. Then Tulumbu make his own from uh, uh, 36 to 70 times two. Which one is more, more moderate? This one is times three, this one times two. Which one is more moderate? Is it not Tulumbu own? <laughs> Tulumbu is more moderate. And we're shouting. But it's biting hard uh, to the extent that they could not have put a name and they are calling for Nigeria and end to Nigeria. Thank God they are doing calling an end to Nigeria now, not their France. If you see Boma said, ah, I no agree, I no agree. If you see war now in the north, had it been Iboma said the north, ah, Nigeria is not good. You don't forget that Iboma in the north. I remember in 1966, the north are the first people that say cry. Araba, Araba, Bamuso, Bamuso. In 1960, a military Zogu revolution took place. They start crying. Bamuso, Bamuso, Araba, Araba. We don't want, we don't want, divide, divide. Because they feel that it didn't favor them. But when they do the real coup, because what dog was this revolution? When they did the real coup and kill Irosi, nobody again they shout us, not to shout Araba, Araba. What they shout, one Nigeria, one Nigeria. Go on, came out and told us to keep Nigeria one. It's a tax that we must be paid. And now they're paying the tax now. Why are they crying? If anything shoot shift now and the government starts favoring the north, you will never hear again burning the flag of Nigeria. I'm telling you honestly, if anything shift now, the government starts flowing, favoring, make a honey to north, you will never see them talk again that the government is bad. Why the government is bad? Because it's a certain man there now. I'm not trying to press Lumbu. The thing is turning me hard. Even now I cannot eat. But let us say the sincerity. Let us say the sincere. I, I'm a man. I don't criticize you because I want to criticize you. I criticize you because you do a thing of criticize. And I don't want to praise you because I, I, I want to receive something from you. I praise you because you do a good thing. I don't have enemy. And I don't have friend. When you do good thing, you are my friend. When you do bad thing, you are my enemy. And I don't come to you for you to feed me. My God will feed me. Very, very much happy that it's actually coming from the north. If it were an evil man, that said, let's divide this country, then we say they are nothing but world terrorists. But what happened to those in the northern state of Nigeria, calling that this country should be divided into different segments so that everybody will go his own separate ways. We are talking about a country in which the government policy have just failed Nigerians. Nigerian policy is nothing to write home about. These people have just decided to have failed us totally. So the northern and are actually calling, burning down the Nigerian flag, to me, well, I would not say it's a welcome development, but very, very much happy that it's coming out from them. Not an evil man, not a Yoruba man himself. But today, we are talking about a northerner who have actually ruled this country for some years now. For how many years have they been able to rule this country? When they were ruling, nobody was actually in line, clamoring that should be a division. Worry was there, they never cried for division. Young, I am not in support of anybody. I am a neutral somebody, I'm a neutral person by myself. I am not in support of the bad governance we are witnessing now. But what I'm against is those people calling that there should be a division. What happened when Wari was there? Why were they not crying? Why were they not raising up the tension that the country should be divided? Yaradua was there. I respect that Yaradua a lot because to today he's still the man, one of my best presidents, president, even if he was not given the much needed opportunity to serve this particular country. So the Northerners should go and rest. Their young man just finished serving for eight years. They were not there asking for division. But today, they are crying for division. Thank God it's coming from them. I'm an evil man. He must try to be precise. If it were an evil man that is actually calling for the division of this country, the next thing the government will call that young man a terrorist. Thank God it's coming from an outside man who are actually the hard corners. The hard corners of this Nigeria that plays a hard cause in terms of Nigerian politics. There's no any angle in Nigerian politics that you come, you will not see a outside man. They are actually one of the best politicians we have in this country. But you cannot call for the division of a country when you know that even your so-called president have just fed us. A man have just decided to shift power from whoever that put him inside that part, into that particular seat. Don't forget, it was Tinubu that put, uh, what's his name? Buhari into that particular seat as the president of Nigeria. Now it's a payback time. The young man have just decided to shift power to whoever that brought him in. So, I don't want you to go and sit down.
Are you getting me? It's a very, very disastrous statement. Can you tell them in the house? To tell you to honor the Allah. To tell you to I will have to tell you the truth. To tell you to honor the They are the ones that spoil this country. Because when you see a house who did not school at a position where a man that has a PhD holder from Igbo land, a man that has PhD and master's degree from the Yoruba land, you will decide because he's your brother. Yeah. You will just take him there and this man cannot even read and write. You will just take him there and put him there. And today, you are saying that those favor is no more actually coming in line with whatever you are doing and you are calling for a division. A house man should go and sit down. I can speak it in house. House man should just own it. Are you getting me? They are the one. The truth is that they are the, they are the one that spoiled this country. Hey, how someone, my brother, let me tell you. Let me let me give you an, an example now. If you go to Nigerian Coast Immigration, Custom, the highest number of custom officers you see there are the houses that cannot even read and write, that cannot even spell their names. And then remember, this custom service we are talking about is one of the most sensitive system of a sensitive part of Nigerian governance. Because you are dealing with importation of goods. Exportation of goods, and if you are not sensitive in terms of tariff and other things, you cannot be able to quantify and to bring out the quota to even tell people this is what you needed to write. But we are talking about a house man that cannot even read and write, and still you made him the head of every affair. A Yoruba man was here as a PhD holder, an Igbo man was here that went to America and schooled, but you could not even give him a job. But he will be there languishing in one street or the other. At the end of the day, you find out that he's only restricted to teaching in primary school. But they have some man go to Nigeria Customs Service, find out that those people that are heading that position is actually head by the houses. Immigration office, houses. Are we not good to become a custom officers? Am I not learned enough? But you cannot be there simply because the house man have just decided to dominate that effect. Let me shock your brain. Well, let me answer you. You are just considered as a dog in a cycle, so you wouldn't make any difference. That is the point. That is that is why I'm saying the house man should go and sit down. Bless the life of an Igbo man. I'm from Imo State to be precise, like I said. If it was an Igbo man that said, let there be a division in this country, they would say he's a terrorist. Thank God the house man is here burning a Nigerian flag in the northern state of Nigeria. Thank God it's not an Igbo man. Their cop are just failed up. That's nothing they can do again. Nigerians are suffering. How much is a bag of rice? A family of three cannot feed again. A family of two cannot feed again. I am not in support of bad governance. But what I'm not in support, if burning or whatever you are burning, knowing fully well that you are the originator of this particular bad governance. The bad governance we are witnessing today is actually put in place by most of these houses. They, place, they played a very, very important role in Nigerian politics, of which a house man cannot read and write. But go and see the kind of cars, the kind of office he has. I hope you are not. Uh, we have a uh, scholar, very distinguished scholar. Uh, I don't care. Uh, which happens to be one of my English teacher then in Bukavu Barracks. I mean, I mean, that is Kanu. I have yes, Kanu. Yes, I know Bukavu Barracks. Very some renowned uh, English teacher that taught me English, which of course was part of my. Any commission, so you wouldn't generalize that those are not no, 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 no. Yeah. Chico, I know what I'm saying. When I said, okay, let me ask you this question now. You will say that all Igbos are terrorists simply because an Igbo man is actually fighting for his rights. You, an Igbo man, even there's a statement that normally goes like this anywhere you go, and you see an Igbo man, run from that place.